Hello, in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at the definition of a group. So the book I have here is a great book, by the way, um, and I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description. It is Modern Algebra by John R. Durbin. You can use this book for self-study and to learn abstract algebra. So let's go through the definition um, just so you see it. So a group is a set G together with an operation star on G such that each of the following axioms is satisfied. So you have to have associativity. That basically means if you do B times C, then multiply by A on the left, it's the same thing as first doing A times B, but then multiplying by C on the right. So um, yeah, and that has to be true for all of A, B, C, and G. It's called the associative property. So, and then you have to have the existence of an identity element. You can actually prove this is unique. It's a pretty easy proof. There is an element E in G such that A times E equals E times A, which is equal to A for all A in G. So basically AE is A, EA is A for all A. Okay, so um, it just, anything times E is just anything, right? It just goes away. It's called the identity. And then the existence of inverse elements. For each A and G, there is an element B and G such that uh, a times B is equal to E, and B times A is equal to E. They write it as one equation, but basically it's it's the inverse. Every element has to have an inverse element. And you can also prove um, that it's unique. It's a pretty easy, pretty easy group. Notice that a group consists of a pair of things, a set and operations on that set. In particular, the set must be closed with respect to the operation. Very often a group is referred to by naming only the underlying set, but that is safe only if it is clear what operation is intended. As a special case, whenever we refer to the group of integers, the operation is meant to be addition, right? Yeah, so very, very good. Then he goes on to give uh, some examples, but I want to stop here. I just wanted to give you the definition of a group in case you were looking for it. That is the definition according to John R. Durbin in this wonderful book uh, on abstract algebra. Take care.